Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, here we'll be working on Lincoln MKX, but what we'll be doing will be the same guys for Ford Edge as well, first generation guys. We'll explain guys how to remove and replace, okay, the switch for the turn signals and the windshield wipers. So make sure guys you stay, you stay with us. That's what we'll be doing. We'll show you everything from start to finish. In, addis in addition, we'll have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop guys we have lincoln mkx ford edge and many more so please guys subscribe to the channel our goal is to save you guys as much money as we can so let's start on it now so as i said ford edge lincoln mkx they share the same platform guys okay this right here now let me turn the light on this is guys your switch okay and as you can see it looks identical for lincoln and ford vehicles as well so how we guys okay remove or uh, replace that switch now First, we'll need to get, okay, a screwdriver with a Torx bit. Okay, this is a screwdriver with Torx 20 bit. And right here under the seat now, un uh, under the steering wheel, excuse me, there is, guys, okay, three screws that we need to remove. So, okay, you can see, kind of like, okay, right there. And you can see this one, first one is coming out. okay and let me show you this is what the screw looks like okay not very long now we have one more okay right here removing this one now and after that guys we have one that's a little bit hidden ah almost came out and it stopped perfect the third one guys okay it's actually hidden okay right there guys right above the handle perfect we're ready here now what else we need to do guys we need to get a panel removal too and i'll, ex I'll explain what we need to do bring the steering wheel all the way okay all the way to the front and down okay and just lock it in place okay the panel removal to all the tools and parts guys including the replacement switch will be listed in the description of the video below for your convenience so i get that too okay and it already popped out on this and because i was moving it but you just grab the two okay and gently pry okay on this side then on this side right here and you can see it's a little bit stuck now here okay perfect and you can lift that thing up a little bit okay i'll bring the handle down now okay the handle down and this thing will come out okay this cover here guys now this is guys the switch that we're looking at okay you can see this is the switch so how we now okay remove that thing let me explain to you quick guys we have one screw with the same torx 20 star looking bit right here okay that we're going to remove perfect and we have one more screw that's a little bit okay hidden so let me show you where it is now okay towards the back okay let me get a good angle because we cannot just get the switch itself okay you can see where it's located now go ahead take this one off okay perfect now guys i should be able okay to grab that switch and pull it out what do we need to do next okay next we need to disconnect the cables okay just by pressing in right here okay and pull it out and this is guys the switch out of there in no time now putting it together is exactly in reverse order we took it apart so thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time